What's up, everybody? This is Chuck. It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So we are actually here in the city of Henderson, Master Plan Community, Cadence. We are actually looking at some townhomes today. We actually have two models to choose from: the Chicago and the Boston model by Richmond American Homes. So we just got done touring the Chicago model. So let's check out the Boston model. The Boston model features a two to three bedroom from 1320 to 1500 square feet. This is a urban type of living, which means your garage is actually in the back of the house. So let's dive right into it. Let's take a look and let's see what this has to offer. Also, this one has a little bit more upgrades than the other model, the uh, Chicago model. Well, this one is 1,310 square feet. It starts off at $245,950. This is a two story, two bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, two car garage, cover front patio, living room, dining room, kitchen with an island pantry with a master suite with a walk in closet. Full master bath includes private closet, which is it should, upstairs laundry area with a patio cover. Now, this is actually a model just got done. However, there were a total of 74 lots, 14 lots left before the model just came up. This model literally just got built and they sold out pretty quickly. So get it while it's hot guys. Closing costs up to 3% if you actually use their lender. And these guys are not getting no type incentives whatsoever. Let's take a look at the cabinets. You have nice front cabinet, cab cabinets, cabinet doors. You have full overlays as you can see with a three inch crown. Nice backsplash. We know all this is upgrades here. This will actually come with maple cabinets. Okay. Let's take a look at this upgraded door right here, six panel door. So this is actually your pantry. Okay, cool, which is a nice pantry, decent size. I love the uh, nice wood flooring here throughout. Really kind of gives you that urban modern type of look. You also have a nice courtyard here. We actually have a vinyl slider. This is actually a six foot slider, but here is actually the two car garage. So let's go into the two car garage real quick. So, as you can see, this two-car garage actually has a window here, which is really nice, brings in a lot of light, and also right there is actually your 24 volts for your doorbell. Your Rainbird, this is actually a good system. I talk about these uh, in a bunch of videos, however, I'm not going to talk about that right now. Here is your main water line. Damn, they only put a one-inch main water line on here? Well, I guess the house is so small, so it doesn't really matter. Normally, I believe it's an inch and a half or actually two inches. This right here is for your sprinkler system uh, throughout the house. Just in case the home catches on fire, the system will go off, which is, <clears throat> this is actually your sprinkler system. It is actually required by code of the city of Henderson, I believe. Now, if you take a look, well, not if you take a look. Here's the thing. What I was gonna say, because I'm talking too fast, I can't keep up. If there's a fire in the home, right? You have these all over. So if one goes off here, the whole house doesn't go off. It's just only in this area. But I think the temperature has to break 120 degrees. We have a tankless water heater, but it doesn't have a reversal valve. It does come with a soft water loop, which is really nice. Focuses the um, plumbers here. So if you're gonna install that, make sure you go through the plumbers. These are the actual doors that you can pick and choose from. All right, so let's go back into the house here. Well, I'm talking so fast, my throat is dry. Well, I do love these uh, fixtures. Look at that. That's cool, huh? Okay, so here is your <clears throat> slider. These are vinyl sliders. So let's go up to the courtyard here. So you actually have a nice courtyard. Here's your AC unit that is a Goodman. And this gives you access to the back. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show you the what the backyard actually looks like. Okay. 
Now I gotta hop over this, gotta be very careful. That is the power line. So basically, you're gonna have more homes here. This is your main entry, so this is your back right here. You pull in here. So this is how all the backyards actually look. <coughs> What's so funny is like, I want you to keep in mind, when people actually meet up with me, they actually wanna buy a modern home. They like all these kinda mid-century designs. However, just because of the front exterior is a mid-century design and it looks cheap, you actually need to walk inside to see the architectural design, okay? Because a lot of times people will be fooled. Like, you look at it right now, you're like, ooh, this is mid-century modern or a modern type of home. I do like it. But then when you go inside, it's a cookie cutter home. There's no architectural design to it. Like, I mean, look at this. This is just like a regular house. It's just a square. Uh, this is just a straight square box. Okay. Here's your undermounted sink, which is really nice. Okay. So I guess this is where you put your like table right here, your living room, which is pretty nice. Okay. I mean, this is a great start at home. I mean, you definitely can't knock this. I mean, really look at this. This is cute, right? Now, I do love how they actually have the stereo open right here. This is actually an upgrade. So with the stereo, when you do an upgrade, this is actually considered a structural upgrade because they actually have to build this right here. But then when you go to the design studio, depending on the type of stereo that you actually pick, we have your thermostat right here, programmable from Honeywell. Actually take a step up, two steps on a landing to the left. We actually have a bathroom with a pedestal sink and a window right next to it okay the reason why this window is open right here is because if you need toilet paper you can just open up this window and ask the person that's walking by yo i'm taking a dump can i get some toilet paper please no that's not the reason why i'm just kidding trying to be funny basically you would have to put some sort of covering over that for sure See if I can give you a better perspective from here. See how this is just open right here. So we're gonna go up here. The carpet pad on here is actually some quality carpet pad, that's for sure. As we come up, we'll start off here to the right. Here is the first bedroom. We have a queen size bed. Now this bedroom is nice because it actually has its own bath. <clears throat> this is great like if you're a young entrepreneur just buying your first home, you can actually rent this section out. That's the way I look at this. Let me turn on the light here. Fiberglass, Delta fixtures. You actually have tile all the way to the top, which is really nice. You got your linen closet. Okay. All right, let's see. Laundry room? Nope. That's just a closet. This has got to be the double stack right here. Come on now. There it is. There's the laundry room I was looking for. There's the laundry room I was looking for. As you can see, this one right here doesn't have a cover for the sprinkler. Okay. Coming into the master. <clears throat> I just like how they make the outside look all modern with the roof lines and throw a couple windows and it's modern <laughs> oh man come on now okay this this room is a pretty decent size it's coming into the walk-in closet i do like the fact that this walk-in closet actually this is where your attic access is one thing that i don't like about uh, townhomes with these attics like this think about this 
You can actually crawl here, cut a hole through the firewall, and you could probably go into somebody's house. I'm not saying that that could happen, but think about that. I always thought about that. I don't know, but all right, right here, smart panel box. That's where everything would go. Okay. Let's take a look at the master bath. Here's your toilet. Turn this light on, here we go. So I mean, it's a little bit tight, but I mean, this is a great starter home. We got upgrade tile. Now what would actually go here would actually be all fiberglass, okay? But now, like, if, if it was just you and your wife and you just had a kid or you're just starting a family, <clears throat> this is a great starter home, I would say. But I like the fact that it has a lot of windows, bring brings in a lot of light, okay? And also the environment and the style that you're living. This community is actually really nice. I'm curious again to hear what your thoughts are about this property. Also, if you want more information about this property, click in the link description below. I will have the full detailed information on this property and everything that you need to know about this property, dimensions and everything else. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. Oh, one quick thing. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know there's a lot of you guys been watching this um, channel for a very long time but has not subscribed also give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up and comment other than that thank you so much for tuning in again i'm chuggets chris with simply vegas and have a blessed day